Oh, what's going on YouTubers? It's the Natural Born Gorilla, and welcome everyone to WWE NXT TakeOver 25 Review. And before I get to that, let me just explain, you know, you know the wig thing. As you can see, it's a wig. Um, if you remember, I did the, the, um, the All Elite Wrestling Review of things to the, uh, AEW Double or Nothing 2019 re Review. I explained that it was a wig, and I show, and I'm even showed at one point like this that it's a wig because, um, basically, work takes me wearing a wig at work. By the way, I mean it's not my job uh, subscription. It's just I want to do. It's just something I want to do, and, and there's no, no reason why behind behind why a wire wearing a wig to, um, you know, that's just because I want to look at my Jackson and you know look like a rock star, <laughs> like I'm like I am right now. Um, but um, that's not that's 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 a video for another time though folks. But just let you know, uh, that uh, the one reason though, uh, uh, basically a few reasons why I want to wake is because you know I'm at my I'm at my job and people love to see me to do Michael Jackson and 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 give me a comparison that I look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Ow! Woo! Shamana. So you wanna be starting something? You got to be starting something. Be that, be that. No one wants to be defeated. I'm bad, I'm bad. Shamona, you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Dangerous, the girl is so dangerous. It don't matter if you're black or white. Do you remember the time? Stop pressuring me. Stop. Fucking with me, you'll make me wanna scream. A stranger in Moscow. Just saying. Anyway, it's enough of that. So yeah, there's there's a reason behind the wig, the wig thing, and there's no re reason all right behind to it. But once again, that'll be for another video for another time. So with that being said, let's get right to business. And by the way, if you hear any noise, I apologize. I'm at work and I'm on my, I'm on my break, and I'm about to have lunch. So so I'm, let's go to this NXT Takeover 25 preview. Where it's going to be taking place tomorrow night on June 1st, 2019 at Bridgeport, Connecticut. Which I'm assuming Bridgeport is in Hartford, Connecticut, I'm assuming. But it doesn't matter. But they're going to be at the uh, the Webster Bank Arena. And obviously it features the brand of NXT under the promotion of the WWE, World Wrestling, World Wrestling Entertainment. Now, let's get to the preview, folks. I mean, let's get to the matches I meant to say. Now, there's five matches on the card here. I think they should, they should work for seven matches. In my personal opinion, folks, they sure went with seven matches, especially for, for the two matches that happened on the home show of NXT, where you know, retains to the home show edition for NXT Takeover 25. Like for example, Mia Yim versus Bianca Belair should happen on this on the show, and Drew Gulak versus Kushida should also happen on the show too. If you see my review, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know um, my reasoning. Uh, why they would they you know that the, uh, uh, whatever reason WWE decided to waste the two matches on the go home show edition instead of wasting it you know to put to put it on the the, uh, the NXT Takeover 25 you know because you know this is this is a big thing for NXT this is the 25th uh, sh uh, t NXT show you know basically the Takeover show so why why not go all out with it you know have more than five matches you could have you could have seven matches on there and it would have been uh, it would have been you know it would been it would been fantastic. But, but no, that's not what they did. Instead, they decided to just go with five matches, as always. Whatever. So, yeah. It is what it is. Excuse me, folks. Now, it's, it's, it's a time now for me to take a bite. I'm having I'm, 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 um, uh, Chef Corey D. Raviolis. Mm. Alright. Anyway, let's get to it now. Um, Matt Riddle versus Roderick Strong. This match, folks, it's going to be all about American Strong Style. It's going to be all about Roderick Strong Style. And it's going to be all about Matt Riddle's MMA Strong Style. This match is going to be all about hard-hitting, smash-mouth wrestling type of way. I'm going to enjoy every bit of it. As far as who I want to win, Matt Riddle, of course. But at the same time, I would not be surprised if WWE had Matt Riddle lose this match against Roderick Strong. But we'll see. Um... Then we get to the Velveteen Dream defending his NXT North American Championship against Tyler Breeze. Now I would have taken um, Keith Lee, and originally it was supposed to be Dom, uh, Dominic Dajakovic, but unfortunately Dominic Dajakovic had had to get knee surgery, so unfortunately he had to be taken out of the match. And I would have preferred you know, Keith Lee in the match, but instead he just got 
they decided to go with, um, you know, with Tyler Breeze, who's the, uh, um, uh, kind of a mirror image of the Velveteen Dream, except for one thing. Tyler Breeze attracts women, and men, for some reason, attracts Tyler Breeze by chatting, Breeze is gorgeous. Well, that's not a hero there. Um, but the Velveteen Dream, I, you know, yeah, I guess we're in all half about the Velveteen Dream. Not a fan of the Velveteen Dream's character, because the way he carried himself, the way... Um, well, I don't mind him carrying the way that, like, like how Prince carried himself. You know, the late great uh, artist formerly known as Prince. Uh, as the problem is, he he he, attra he attracted men, kind of like, like a Goldust character. I want him to attract women, and kind of he's he's kind of doing that not right now in a way, which he should be doing that a long time ago instead of attracting men the way he was doing it too. But this match itself, I think this match is gonna be good. And now these guys have matches before, obviously on on regular, um, you know, NXT takeover. Um, I mean NXT house shows. Let's see, not takeover house shows. I'm gonna say NXT house shows. They had matches before, so this won't be this won't be this won't be um, the first time. But even though they're gonna say it's the first time, they're um, you know, which is a lie. But but I look forward to this match though. Despite me feeling about the Velveteen Dream of his character, he's still a good wrestler. Same thing with Tyler Breeze. Uh, but here's the thing, Tyler Breeze. I I'll always I'll, I always. Like the Tyre Breeze, especially what pertains to uh, him to his summer NXT. Ever since he came, he went to the main roster, I still was a fan. I was still, I still was a fan of his. But then they started doing something weird with him on the on the main, main show, which is not his fault, obviously. It's it's Vince McMahon's fault. But despite that, I'm still a fan. I'm still a fan and still um you know big on Tyler Breeze. As far as I want to win between the Velveteen Dream and Tyler Breeze, obviously I want Tyler Breeze to win. But knowing NXT WWE basically. They're gonna have the Velveteen Dream win. Whatever. Before I move on, maybe, uh, and, uh, yeah, um, it's, it's uh, a co a coworker passing by, uh, checking his phone. So, so uh, don't mind him. And, and by the way, his name is Prince too. And his name is Prince, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, what are the odds, huh? Uh, but excuse me, folks. One, one moment. All right. <laughs> Next match, which I believe is going to be a highlight of the of the, of the night. For NXT Takeover uh, 25, which is for the vacant NXT Tag Team Championships in a ladder match, where it's going to uh, have four tag teams in the match. It's going, you're going to have Orion Lorkin and Danny Burch, one, two, versus the Street Profits, Andrew Dawkins and Montel Ford, Undisputed Era, aka Red Dragon, which is Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, and the Forgotten Sons, which is going to be featuring Wesley Blake and Steve Cutler. Now, I don't know if uh, Jackson Reichel is going to be uh, at ringside for this, um, but we'll see. But, as far as the matches, folks, this match is going to be incredible. I want to see what the, the Forgotten Sons can do in the ladder match. I want to see what the Street Profits can do in the ladder match. Especially when we taste the Ori Lorcan and Danny Burch. Unspeeded Era, you know, Kyle Riley, Bobby Fish, Red Dragon. I already know what, what they, these, those guys can do, so... In a way, they're gonna, they're, they're, it's gonna be no surprise what they're gonna do in the ladder match. Um, but this match, this match is gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be my favorite match to look forward to. As far as what I want to win, you know, to become the new NXT Tag Team Champions, I'm gonna go with Undisputed Era, you know, Red Dragon. But if, if they don't win, I got a secondary pick. My secondary pick will be the Street Profits. Um, as far as a swerve, I think what pertains to WWE is, you know, a way to swerve us. To become for the new tag team champions to, to for NXT, I think they're gonna go with the Forgotten Sons. You know, but you know that's the, 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 the swerve, the swerve pick basically. And and what pertains to the up the upset the upset um pick, uh only Lockins. But my main pick basically my number one pick my who I predict to win, Undisputed Era Red Dragon Kai O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Before I move on, let me just take another bite. Delicious. Next match, the NXT Women's Championship. Io Shirai will be accompanied by Candice LeRae as the NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler defends her title, and she'll be accompanied by uh, Jessica Manduke and Maria Shafir. This match is going to be, uh, yo, I'm 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 actually going to come into this match for high, with high expectation. Shayna Baszler and Io Shirai never wrestled each other before. And this will, be, this will be the first time they'll be wrestling each other. And I want to see how it turns out. 
just like what we say to Shane Baszler and Kyrie Sane, it's gonna be up to that type of level. So I, I can't I can't to see how that turns out, especially with Eagle Shirai being you know uh, has some has the killer instinct, you know. And as far as, far as I want to win, now I would love to see Eagle Shirai become the new NXT Women's Champion, but I'm gonna go with Shane Baszler. I'm gonna go with Shane Baszler to retain her NXT Women's Championship. Whoever retains to uh, going to you know. NXT TakeOver uh, uh, Toronto for some of weekend to face the new challenger, which I believe is going to be Candice LeRae. But if Eel Shirai wins, hey, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be happy either way. But I'm going to go with Shane Baszler to win. Before I move on, one more bite. Well, not, it's never one more bite anyways, folks. Uh, but anyways, then you get a bite. And now, the main event. For the NXT Championship, you got Johnny Gargano defending his NXT Champion, Champion title, you know, basically, against Alan Cole, baby. Now, you're going to hear a buzz by way, folks. That means the ride started. Anyways, <laughs> this, this, this drag is by way. But anyways, so, Johnny Gargano and Alan Cole is going to have a match again. This time, it's just going to be a one fall finish. This is the rematch from TakeOver New York. So, yeah, this match is going to be incredible, folks. Obviously, it's going to be incredible. The last time I see these guys wrestle each other, well, obviously, back at WrestleMania weekend for uh, TakeOver uh, New York, it's going to be the same the same outcome where we to the, um, the, where we to the, um, the book of the match, except hopefully they don't get no undisputed errors in the few weeks' time. And as far as I want to win this match, we will rotate to a different outcome in this one. Um, um, I think it, I think it's time for Alan Cole, Bay Bay, to become the new NXT champion. But if John Gargano retains the title, I won't be I'll, I'll be fine with that either. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine, I'll be fine with that too because I'm a fan of both guys, Alan Cole, Bay Bay, and Johnny Gargano. You know, or should I say Johnny Wrestling or Johnny Champion, Johnny Takeover. Either way you want to say, I'm still a fan either way for both guys. Whoever, uh, no matter what outcome it's going to be, but. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna go for a title change here. I think Alan Cole, baby, is gonna become the new NXT champion. And the Unspeed Era will be walking out of NXT TakeOver 25 with the gold. Except for Rock Strong, obviously, because he's not in a title match, obviously. But, but, yeah. But either way, Unspeed Era will still be out on camera with some gold. So we'll see what happens with that. So, again, uh, Matt Brito goes over by Roderick Strong. Uh, Tyler Breeze to, to become the new NXT North American champion. Unspeared Era to become the new NXT Tekken Champions. Io Shirai, I mean not Io Shirai, Shayna Baszler to retain her NXT Women's Championship. And finally, Alan Cole, Bay Bay, to become the new NXT Champion. And there you go folks, that's my WWE NXT TakeOver 25 preview. And if you don't like it, beat it. Because no one wants to be defeated. <laughs> Just saying. But there you go folks. Paul, and I can't wait for the pay review. Or, or, or should I say the, uh, the, the special event of take, TakeOver for NXT. So yeah, that being said folks, thank you all for watching. This is Natural Born Villa saying peace on the streets. For this was your WWE NXT TakeOver 25 review. Take care.